I just sleep. For mom, Katrina Smith, every night starts the same way. She tucks Christian in his bed, kisses him goodnight, and crosses her fingers. Around three or four in the morning, we'll hear, you know, we'll hear his little footsteps coming downstairs and he'll bust through the door like the house is on fire. <laughs> and he's like, mommy, mommy, daddy. And so we'll get up and just pack him and put him back in the bed. I love you. I love you. Little imaginations can dream big in the middle of the night. Something as simple as a shadow is enough to keep your kid up all night. So I recommend you lie down in your child's bed and just look around, try to see things from their perspective. Is there anything, a stuffed animal, a shadow that could look scary in the dark? I've been burning the midnight oil on some shopping mom research and I found several cool products that will empower your scared youngster and help them battle those bedtime fears. Pediatricians say somewhere between age two and four, children develop the ability to form mental images, to imagine. And this explains why at this age, a cute little tiger can become a growling prowler at night. If you give them the, the coping skills and the tools that they need to actually work their way through phobias, I think it's extremely important. I think it actually helps them to gain independence over time if they can actually learn how to take care of it themselves. Those tools, our experts say, start with night lights. Now you could shop for standard plug-in models, but specially designed night lights your kid can hold or turn on and off himself will empower him more. Before you start shopping, ask your child to be as specific as possible. Is it the monster under the bed or the boogeyman in the closet keeping him up? If it's that trek to the bathroom at night down a dark hallway, shop for something to brighten the path. This light the way nightlight system from One Step Ahead works off a motion sensor. When he gets up, the main unit turns on and lights up the two remote lights. Glow in the dark light extenders and portable PALs work great too. And Christian liked seeing himself in lights. Now, if your child is afraid of the boogeyman in the closet or the dark space under his bed or something coming through the window, shop for something to divert his attention or make things magically disappear. Before he falls asleep, he'll look outside and he'll, you know, he, through the blinds, he can see the darkness and he'll say, it's dark outside, I'm scared of my window. Let's break a little, ooh, that's shiny. The fairy line makes a line of all natural empowering aids a kid can sprinkle or spray to make the imaginary monsters disappear. Its maker says the power of suggestion and the aromatherapy promote peaceful sleep. And if you buy a fireproof under the bed light, no monsters going to hide out here. Glow in the dark pajamas and comforters are a good diversion too. I thought this glow in the dark music playing story blanket from Lullabeds was pretty innovative. All clear under here. You know, we just went through this with Grace, and though these sleep products can really help, I also found that spending more time with her during the day helped her feel more secure at night. And planning lots of kid-friendly exercise helps drain some of that surplus energy. Remember, the key here is empowering your child to battle those natural fears on their own, so you can once again be a well-rested shopping mom. Let's go to sleep, baby. Good night.